Let's fail, let's fail, let's fail together at life. Sometimes I just feel like a failure in real life, so I turn to the little-known escapist art known as the video game. What am I this week? A pirate? A dolphin? A furry blue hedgehog? Today I'm all too known alien rappers Toe Jam and Earl, a game developed by Johnson Vorsanger Productions and released for the Sega Genesis console. Something really, really weird and fucked up happened last time I played the game, though. I initially found the cart when the local paper man threw it at my fucking head. Extra, extra! And he threw it at my head. Weird thing was, it looked like no one was even riding the fucking bicycle. Goddamn self-driving bikes. Well, fuck that shit. I decided I was going to make myself a sandwich. As a former Major League Baseball player who still keeps several autographed bats of himself in his home, I'm not talking about mammals of the order Chiroptera. I was hungry. It was probably just my Gamefly service. I subscribe to Gamefly, a gaming service, but I never remember requesting this game. It was oddly titled Toe Jam and Earl and Scabies. Scabies? I never remembered Scabies from playing that game. Game that I loved. After Googling and finding out it was a serious debilitating rash caused by a violent mite, I was disgusted. Who would send me this game? I puked in my mouth a little but swallowed it back down, as I had Super Nintendo game to play. I tried shoving and shoving and breaking the SNES, inserting the strangely shaped scart until I found out that this was a fucking Sega Genesis cart. Who the fuck owned a Sega Genesis? Wonder Dog? Oh, you did, if your parents didn't love you. Burn! Shows you, you fucking, fucking piece of fucking shit. I started preparing my dog shit sandwich. After dozens of hours of Googling and scouring eBay, I found a Sega Genesis console with hot bacon and sour cream poured down the plug pin connector hole. The dust cover covered in what looked like hot chili sauce that decayed and scabbed over across decades. I also got scabies from touching it, but that's a completely unrelated correlation. I shoved the game in against the player's will in a very Ayn Rand fashion. I had a game to play, and nobody, for the love of God, was going to stop me from it. The words, Toe Jam is on vacation, appeared on the bottom of the screen. They were... Aliens. I paused the game as I was very hungry and needed to prepare a sandwich. Got out the bread, sandwich, meat, other condiments, and... But then I saw a sandwich in the game box. It looked like a really tasty sandwich. Maybe it's just me, but I really decided I wanted to eat that sandwich. I, I know what you're thinking, okay? You don't eat strange sandwiches. We all watch McGruff the Crime Dog. But this sandwich just looked delicious. Piping hot fresh rye bread, warm melted melty cheddar cheese, and the most thinly sliced robust meat ingredient you could ever think of. Eat me, a voice whispered. It wasn't the sandwich. Sandwiches don't talk. I, I picked up the smiling sandwich and brought it into the retro TV game room to enjoy my plate in my game cart. This was a really delicious sandwich. Toe Jam looked really pissed off. Someone had drawn his sprite a little too explicitly. What was this, a bootleg of some sort? Nah, nah, it was the official Toe Jam and Earl video game scart. The planet he was wandering on looked more desolate, and instead of the pogo stick, Earl had broken legs. The words, Toe Jam is a Twizzler shoved up someone's ass, appeared at the bottom of the screen. Not very family-friendly, to say the least. Instead of picking up spaceship parts, they were picking up pieces of someone's fractured sanity... I know what you're thinking. How do you draw someone's sanity? Well, the first piece of the ship I picked up was a toilet paper roll with the words, Help me, I'm losing my mind, scrawled in a red-brown font. 
At first, I thought it was a programming error, but then it occurred to me that it was scrawled in bodily fluids, including shit, blood, piss, and what I hoped to God was just vinegar. Must have been a syntax error. This was disgusting. I didn't have a second player to play with, of course, so I tried using my feet to control Earl. But I couldn't control Earl. I, I couldn't control Earl at all. Maybe it's because I have diabetes, but the game was really starting to scare me. All of a sudden, the voice screamed, Help me! And the card exploded. I took it out, blew on it like a bitch, and put it back in. I continued eating my strange sandwich. My strange, foreign, delicious sandwich. <sighs> Instead of the game continuing, I instead saw an alien drawing of Will Smith. Will Smith was drawn in highly graphic 16-bit detail, but it was just his head and tiny alien legs and pincers were on the bottom. This was disturbing. I was getting really scared, like someone was watching me. I called the police, and they said they weren't going to come out for a Will Smith drawing and hung up. I decided to continue playing. Toe and Earl weren't exploring some distant planet. They were exploring... Earth! Yes. Yes, it was clearly Earth. The game took place on Earth all along. I was really fucking enjoying this sandwich. If I could choose between a lifetime without sex and this sandwich... I'd choose this sandwich. I was never going to have sex anyway. Saving myself for marriage. I'm going to marry this sandwich. Oh, the meat was so good. Really, really fucking love this sandwich. A lot of famous history figures appeared in the game instead of the normal enemies. I had to throw a tomato at Benjamin Franklin and beat Grover Cleveland with a wire pipe. I suppose I would have paid more attention to the strange scarred if I wasn't seriously enjoying this sandwich. Okay, seriously, th this this was the greatest sandwich I had ever tasted. The finest, finest stage cheddar. And the lettuce was sparkling, a heavenly sparkle. And Toe Jam was looking funky fresh with his double-decker sunglasses and his funktastic eye spectacles. Toe Jam was gone, though. Suddenly, I tasted something odd. Something odd in my sandwich. It was a funky smell. I took another bite preoccupied with this excellent game. Suddenly the Will Smith graphic reappeared and started chasing Earl. The game cut to black and the cart exploded, caught fire, and it never worked again. No one will ever believe you. The sandwich was talking. It had lips, lips of crust. It, just my imagination. I've been playing Toe Jam and Earl all night. I called the fire department, but they said Will Smith cannot start fires and hung up on me. My house was starting to burn down, and thankfully the big gulp I drank earlier converted to piss, so I could piss on the Genesis. Didn't cover the fire enough. Being that I drank some gasoline earlier, and my piss was flammable, and the fire shot straight at my urethra. I screamed in pain, fell over, and started crying in pain. That was when my doorbell rang. It was Toe Jam and Earl. They were CG, but in real life. Real life CG on my lawn? How could this be? I looked around for a projector that could be playing Toe Jam and Earl, but they whispered. The Twizzler-shaped, googly-eyed creep reached out a red tendril. Brand. Brand of Earth. Aliens? In my fucking home? At this time of year? In this galaxy? During the Super Bowl, maybe? Friend, hello! Uh, I waved a... I waved and it waved a strange sigil over me. And I felt a calm happiness I'd never felt in my entire life. All of my pain, discomfort, and the feeling that this is all completely meaningless vanished within seconds. Of course it all had meaning. Everything has meaning if you mean it to. Fried sandwich. The alien stated. Fat Earl stood there and being fat he said nothing. He revealed that he could stretch himself out and entered my home through the kitchen pipes. Indeed it was a delicious sandwich. 
I knew what I had to do. I just knew what I had to do. Swing away, Earl, the sandwich whispered. I picked up a baseball bat and swung it with great fury at the Twizzler-shaped CG man. It screamed in horror and fell over, bleeding, blood pouring from its one cracked porcelain googly eye, dripping viscous yellow and red fluid, screaming as though the fires of hell were engulfing it. It caught fire, and we were all on fire. I told you to a rap battle. Toejam squeaked before falling over dead. I took another bite of my fucking sandwich. This was my fucking home and my fucking sandwich. That was when a tiny 4x4 tin spaceship came down from the heavens down to my lawn to me. It was an old-style spaceship like the kind you'd seen in the 1970s. The launch bay door opened and a tiny English man in a puffy shirt waddled out. I'm the Earl of Sandwich, he declared. I looked disheveled as all hell, and his blue-eyed miscreants revealed something that I didn't want to know. Whenever anyone dies, they don't actually die. Since the early 17th century, we've known that spirits end up on a far-off distant planet, and they are resurrected. And that is me, the Earl of Sandwich English Language! <sighs> Took out a boombox and started to rap. Zerl began to dance a shitty dance. <laughs> I'm the Earl of Sandwich, put two gems in your food. Now the two gems in your stomach soon to enter your blood. One day soon, now we're here in the future. Don't need a sweet sandwich in your coffin. There's no sweet You'll be dead a few hours from my poison strain sandwich. It was a dreamy little fucking bitch. That wasn't cheese. No! I screamed. Earl giggled. He was smoking a blunt or marijuana, but it didn't smell like marijuana. It smelled like hot, steaming rotisserie chicken. And be sure to see two German Earl, the motion hologram Saturnalia quintuplet, on the eighth solstice of Vermilion 25, quadrant 7. His body suddenly became enveloped by hundreds of eyes, and even the eyes had eyes. The fire department and police finally arrived, but they weren't from this planet. They weren't from this planet at all. The Earl of Sandwich revealed to me that he could reverse digest carbon-based life through his anus and began consuming the bushes and foliage around my home. I just looked down at my sandwich. Just that sandwich. Half-eaten. And, ugh, I saw a toenail in the sandwich! I puked, I puked, I puked some more. The Earl of Sandwich had been telling the truth all along, and the Earl of Sandwich started devouring my puke with his anus, and that made me puke even more. Toe Jam got up with a broken spine and started to dance. I could hear cracking as the dancing was breaking more twiz bones, and Earl danced too. Oogie boogie boogie boogie, they yelled. Oh, by the way... You have scabies. The Earl of Sandwich, Toe Jam Earl, and the actual sandwich said, laughing and laughing, flying off into the pale moonlight, laughing and laughing. Sarcop de Scabier began feasting on my flesh. Oom, what a delicious sandwich, they whispered, the millions of them, as my flesh began to look like Swiss cheese. I realized... Should have bought a Dreamcast instead.